Okay, let's talk about homeschool pre-algebra. And actually, this uh, video is directed towards uh, those parents that are homeschooling pre-algebra. And the whole point to this video is kind of, a, of like a little pop quiz that you can give your child, a, like a quick diagnostics uh, quiz to see how well they're doing in pre-algebra. Because when you're homeschooling, you want to, you know, have some assurance. You want to have some validation that your child is, uh, you know, learning enough mathematics at that particular level. So I'm going to suggest to you that uh, any student that's doing well in pre-algebra should be able to handle this problem. So the question is, can your child do this problem? Well, let me go ahead and explain the problem here. We have uh, negative one-third times 6x squared minus 1 plus 5 x squared plus two-fifths, well, what we want to do is simplify this, okay? We want to simplify this uh, variable expression and clean it up. So I think a good way to do this uh, or to make the most out of this particular video is to either write this problem down or maybe um, have your child look at this particular um, problem, pause the video, see what they come up with and have them fully show their, uh, their steps. I'm going to show you the correct answer in just one moment, and then I'm going to walk through this step by step. But more importantly, I want to be talking about the uh, skills, the specific math skills that your child needs to be mastering at this level. And if they're not really understanding these skills, then that's probably a pretty good indication that they're not learning enough uh, pre-algebra. Okay, so I'm going to give you some uh, suggestions on how you could correct that in a second. But uh, before we get going, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also the founder of uh, tabletclass.com. That happens to be my full homeschool math curriculum uh, program. So uh, with both of my uh, programs, I'm going to leave the links to those in the description, but basically I help students uh, pass their math courses, whether they're uh, homeschoolers or not. also help people in test preparation, and of course I help people uh, by giving them or offering them use of my full homeschool math curriculum. I've been working with homeschoolers for many, many years, so if you're interested, you can just go to my tabletclass.com uh, program. You'll see all my courses there from pre-algebra to pre-calculus. Again, my focus is on middle and high school mathematics. I'm also going to leave links to my math notes in the description as well. You might find those as useful resources in your homeschooling. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the answer to this question. And the answer is this, 3x squared plus 11 over 15. So again, what we wanted to do was to simplify this expression. And if you did this correctly, this is what your child should have gotten. Okay, so if, they, uh, if your child got the right answer, well, please pass on a nice little happy face and A plus a 100% and tell them nice work. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at what's going on in this particular problem. Again, you know, think of this as kind of a little like diagnostics test. So if I was to give this uh, to a student, um, let's suppose I was going to uh, tutor your child, right, in, in mathematics, and they were struggling at the pre-algebra level, I might give them this problem. I would say, hey, what do we do here, right? But really what I'm looking at, I'm looking to see if they understand these various uh, skills. Now, the skills that we need in order to simplify this expression is we need a good understanding of the distributive property. We need to know how to add like terms, okay, or combine like terms. You need to know something about positive and negative numbers, and of course, we're gonna have to deal with some fractions here as well. So really, these are the skills that I'm looking at in terms, if your child got this right, then it's you know telling me, and it should tell you that, hey, they're understanding these skills. So that's you know a pretty good indication that they're doing pretty well at the pre-algebra level. Okay, so what do we need to do in order to do this problem? Well, anytime you have parentheses like this, okay, you have a sum or a difference, a number out of uh, outside of some sort of set of parentheses, that's an indication that you want to use the distributive property to start there. So let's go ahead and take a look at that right now. So the distributive property is when we have a number, okay, outside of a sum or difference, we have to take this number and we have to multiply that number, okay, this number outside the, the sum or difference to all these inner terms right here. Now, this is not going to be a complete full lesson on the distributive property. That, you know, is, a, you know, a lot of material in and of itself. But basically, 
this is the first step that we need to take. So we have to figure out what negative one third times six x squared is. Okay, now if your child did this correctly, negative one third times six x squared will give us a negative two x squared. We have a negative times a positive, that's gonna be negative. And so one third times six is going to be two. So negative times positive, we're gonna end up with negative two x squared. All right, so negative one third times this negative one right here is gonna give us a positive one third. All right, so that's a step, um, that's the result of taking our first step using the distributive property. Now, instead of having this number outside these parentheses, I have uh, you know, four terms I can try to combine. So the next step is going to be combining like terms. Okay, so when we're talking about combining like terms, we need to recognize that negative two x squared and 5x squared are like terms. Now they're like terms, that's an, um, a concept that again, you should be, uh, your child should be learning in pre-algebra. These are uh, like terms because these terms, okay, have the exact same variable to the exact same power. In other words, this part of these terms are exactly the same. They have to be 100% exactly the same. If they are exactly the same, we can combine them. In other words, where you can take the numbers in front of those terms, we call those coefficients, and we can add them up. So in this case, we have negative two and five. So negative two plus five is what? Well, that'd give us a three x squared. Okay, so you know, again, you want to recognize that we are trying to combine like terms, and so we're gonna look at this, all four of these um, terms going on. Of course, these are numbers, but you can kind of refer to those as terms as well. Like, oh, these two are like, so we can add those up. That gives us a three, a positive three x squared. Of course, we're dealing with positive and negative numbers. And then here I have a one third and two fifths, and I need to add those fractions. And of course, fractions is a key skill uh, that your child should have down at the pre-algebra level. It's, tip, it's a real typical weak area for a lot of students. So if your child is struggling with fractions, I would say immediately get them some uh, help on fractions. Now, if you uh, wanna check out my pre-algebra course, I actually have a full complete chapter on fractions. It's critical that your child understands fractions. Uh, but anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at one third plus two fifths. That's what we have to do now. We have to add those up. So one third plus two fifths, you can see that the LCD is 15. So we need to adjust the numerators. You can just see the work here. Again, I'm not gonna try to teach fractions in this video, but basically when we add up these two fractions, one third and two fifths, the answer is 11 fifteenths. So now I can add that to my three X squared and uh, add that to 11 fifteenths, which is the sum of those two fractions. And you end up with this final answer. Okay, so this is just a quick little diagnostics pop quiz. You know, and again, this is, uh, for me, this would be at the pre-algebra level. Now, it all depends on what curriculum you're using. If you're um, using a curriculum where you're, you don't see anything like this, and you're using a pre-algebra you know, course or curriculum, you don't see any problems at this level, and you're looking at this, you're thinking, wow, this seems very advanced, or this seems like algebra one, then I'm gonna to suggest to you that, you know, maybe that curriculum is not really strong enough. Okay, this is these are concepts, the distributive property, adding like terms, positive, negative numbers, fractions, all this stuff really should be mastered at uh, the pre-algebra level. Pre-algebra, I think this is kind of a misnomer. I think a lot of students perceive this as a course before you take algebra, right? It almost seems like this is the math we take before you learn algebra. Well, it's not really the way you should think about pre-algebra. Pre-algebra is algebra, okay? It's just a kind of a lighter version of algebra. And a lot of these concepts are gonna re be repeated in algebra one, just at a more advanced level. Okay, so if you are interested uh, in uh, my homeschooling program, if you need assistance, I'm gonna suggest that you uh, go over to my website, tabletclass.com, there's a ton of information, ton of samples and whatnot. And also my YouTube channel, I have hundreds and hundreds. Matter of fact, I have a well over a thousand plus math videos from basic math to advanced math that hopefully you can um, you know, um, have your child check out if they need any extra help. Of course, any way I can assist you um, is my passion, right? Because I've been doing this stuff for decades and I'll tell you what, I just love helping uh, all people learn mathematics. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your homeschooling adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.